Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about life purpose. I'm going to give you some suggestions on ways that you can find your life purpose. So first, I want to address the question of why find your life purpose in the first place? Because it's actually um, been proven. They've done studies that have proven that people that know what their life purpose is and are living their life purpose are happier and healthier than those that don't live their life purpose. So to me, that just is enough right there to convince me that this is really important because I am all about living healthier and happier. And when I, when you really think about it, the thing that most people in the world are dissatisfied with is the fact that they don't really feel like life has a meaning. They kind of go through the motions, they get stuck in a rut, and for for lots of reasons, most people don't, they can't say that they're living their life purpose. And this is one of my biggest things that I'm trying to help people with, aside from being healthy, of course, but since finding your purpose is such a crucial part of that, I feel like this is a really big chunk of the the information that is pretty basic that we should all know. And I do understand that there are so many barriers to finding life purpose. Many people don't, um, they don't know themselves well enough to know what would make them happy. A lot of people feel that they're limited in some way because some aspect of their life is getting in the way that's preventing them from being able to live their life purpose. Um, and a lot of people, too, don't know how to change because they feel like by living their life purpose, they would have to change too much of their life. They might feel overwhelmed with how to even start making those changes. They might not even be in the right mindset yet where they can recognize that they need to change and that they can change. And I have a video that I'll be sharing with you at the end of this video that will help you to get out of that rut if you are unable to change your life. So once I go through all of this information, I will guide you to a video that will help you to start making the changes that you need to. So basically, when it comes to finding your life purpose, the big why, why you should do it is, it's science. <laughs> because it's been proven, it's been scientifically proven with studies, that you can be happier and healthier when you find and live your life purpose. So now let's get into the ways that you can find your life purpose. I'm going to go through all of the best ways that I know of, including some of my favorite resources. So grab a notebook and a pencil and get ready to learn some ways. The first one I'm going to talk about is volunteering. And this is good for anyone who is young, if you are a teenager or in your 20s, even older, if you still are searching, if you are not happy in your job and you kind of want to test the waters, but you don't really want to commit yourself. This was me. I had a lot of jobs in my life and I thought that in order to find my life purpose, I would have to get jobs in all of these things. I really didn't have to go through all of that effort though, because you can volunteer and that's a, um, not only is it really, quick, like you can find out quickly if something is for you, but it doesn't involve any commitment. You don't have to stay at a volunteer position any longer than one time. And if you find that it's not for you, then that's great. If you find that it is for you, you can stick it out for a long time or any length of time you want until you decide maybe this is something that, you know, I would like to do for a job. Or it could also give you a sense of purpose in the sense of not not a career. So you do not have to have your life purpose be a job or a career. That is something that most people think of though, but it really isn't necessary because you could have a job that just takes care of your basic needs in life, your, your bills and all that, but you probably won't feel too fulfilled from most jobs that there are out there. So that's where volunteering can also come in handy. It can give you that um, sense of 
something extra where you know your life isn't just going to be work and sleep it's going to also be giving giving back and that can do wonders i mean many people's life purpose is just to help others <laughs> and so volunteering is the number one way if that is something that sounds good to you the next one is to explore your hobbies and this seems like a kind of an obvious one but it's worth mentioning because you know a lot of people think a hobby might just be you know something that you do for a couple of minutes a day or a couple hours a week that they don't really think is that important but I am one of the people that believes that we need to focus on these sorts of things in our life. We need to have more hobbies. We need to have more enjoyment, more joy in our lives. And that can lead to a life purpose. You might find that you enjoy gardening so much that your life purpose is to help plant things in the world, whether that be volunteering or whether that be at a job or a hobby. You can just make your hobby, you know, bigger, expand it to take up more of your life. Um, hopefully that's possible. I know that isn't always possible because people have busy lives, but I truly believe that your mental health and your spiritual health and your physical health, really, all of them will improve if you can put more time into your hobbies. The next one on this list is to make a vision board. This is one of the funnest ones on this list because it's a kind of a combination of being crafty with art and also uh, kind of like learning about yourself and you're creating something for your future. And this is always fun to me. So grab a board of any sort. You can grab a um, one of those boards called... Uh, there's a name for them that I'm, I'm blanking now, but you can go to a store like Michael's or any craft store. I think it might be press board. That might be the word I'm thinking of or cardboard or anything like that and get some tape, get some magazines. You can even print some pictures off of the internet. However you want to get your pictures, you can use words. You can even get really crafty with this and buy some of those little stickers with that are words and letters and little pictures and decorate just go crazy with it make it beautiful make it something that you can display and keep where you can see it every day and so i highly recommend getting a vision board because it's it's good for so many things and the more you look at it you know you're if you just sit and stare at it sometimes and, and contemplate what you're looking at you might realize, oh, something's missing on this list, and then you'll, you'll then you'll you're, you'll put the pieces together, and your full picture will be more full. You'll have a better idea of what you want. Online courses. This is another good one because I actually know of an online course, or you could take books or read books as well. You know, if you don't have the money for an online course, you can read books, and I've got some good suggestions for you in both of these areas. But the reason why these are good is because you can do them from your home. You can sign up instantly. You can even download the book if you have a Kindle or just order the physical book. And within days, you can be taking this course or reading this book. And this is good because it's, it's, this is more an option for people that are more confused and overwhelmed and they are really unsure if they're starting at scratch and they don't really know themselves at all you know it, this is a really good idea for young people so i'm going to give some suggestions here this is my favorite book on life purpose it's called discover your dharma a vedic guide to finding your life purpose by sahara rose she's the host of the highest self podcast which i have been listening to for years She's really good at helping people to sort through um, your interests, your values, and things like that. So I will leave a link in the description to check out this book. It was amazing. And if online courses is more your thing, this is the online course that I recommend. I took this course and I've never in my life had so much fun taking a course. It's called the Ultimate Life Purpose Course. Um, this is on the website actualize.org. Now, this course is a little bit more expensive, of course, than a book. 
Um, if this is not in your price range, then there are other options, but this is, if you have a couple hundred dollars to spend and you're really serious about this, this will do it. <laughs> this is guaranteed to help you find your life purpose. It's just, I, I wanted to make a separate video just about what this course involves, but I figured I would just say it so you can, you can go to, to the website and look at it. Just type in actualize.org ultimate life purpose course and you'll see how amazing it is. It's so comprehensive. Like it took me probably a month just to do the, the worksheets. There's so many worksheets and that's one of my favorite things in the world is taking a course and filling out the worksheets, answering the journal prompts, and it's all just to help you get to know yourself. And that's why this course is amazing. And speaking of journal prompts, the next thing on this list is journaling. And this is probably the cheapest version of these suggestions because when you're journaling, you, you really don't need a lot of money to do this. You can use any book laying around, any notebook, any dollar notebook at the dollar store. <laughs> and it's you can use this in so many ways. You can use it as a diary where you're just writing your thoughts and feelings and expressing yourself because that is what leads to finding your life purpose. If you don't know yourself well enough, then you are going to struggle. So I think that journaling is actually a crucial step in finding your life purpose. And it's actually so important that I actually made a life purpose workbook for this. It's the printable one. It's This is in my Etsy shop. So I put this together based on some of the stuff that I learned in, in that other course that I showed you and just some things that have helped me. So if you're interested in taking a, a, a budget-friendly way to do this, this is only a couple dollars and it's printable, which means you can download it instantly, print it at home, and you're good to go. So if that sounds good to you, I will also leave you a link down below in the show notes for you to, I'm sorry, in, in the description of this video for you to check that out as well as the book that I recommended and if you are also interested in watching this video, this will help you to make the changes that you need in your life that will help you to find your life purpose. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.